Right guys, welcome back to the channel. As you'll notice, with the Ling Machines, there's an added one. Just so you know, we've just filmed another video. That is soaked. Um, <laughs> anyway, this is, this is my other half, Carly. Uh, you've probably heard us have a little bit of banner about the girlfriend, but um, she's helping us out today. And we do get a lot of video requests asking for someone else to actually do some of the exercises, someone who hasn't got a clue, and quite frankly, she hasn't got a clue what she's doing. <laughs> so basically, while she's actually here, we're gonna go through a legs and a glute workout uh, for you women or for you guys who want some tight buns for the <laughs> for the summer for you budgie smugglers. Like those chaps. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, we're just going to use her as a guinea pig today. Basically, we're going to go through some. It's, it's predominantly lower torso, obviously, for glutes and legs. So get yourselves warmed up. For those who don't know, glutes is your tush. It's this, what your mummy gave you. So you um, what your mama gave. Yeah. So basically, get yourselves warmed up, and we're going to go through for a few basic exercises that you can do at home. Only thing you will need is. Either two dumbbells or a little bit of weight anyway. Uh, there's one exercise that we can't actually do because we're not rich enough to have a barbell with us. But we're going to show you the technique because it's really, really good for the glutes anyway. So um, <laughs> get yourself sorted and we will see you on the other side. Right, so first exercise for Carly we have is going to be a sumo squat. So this is going to be really good for working your buns, alright? So what you're going to do, I'll show Carly as well. It's going to take a Step around here. Don't really cut you out of the way, Leon. She's a right. bit nervous. Take a slightly wider step. I've got my feet in there. Take a slightly wider step than normal. So slightly wider than the hips. Toes point out. It's important when you squat that your knees are going to follow your second and third toe. So knees don't track past the, them toes. And they also stay nice in line, all right? So what we're going to do is have dumbbells out in front. Chest nice and proud so your back's up straight. All right, with me so far? Mm -hmm, yeah. Cool. And then dumbbells out in front. And squat down nice and low, all right? You want your bum to be slightly higher than your knees at the lowest point and you don't want to lock your knees out of the top. All right, ready to give it a go? Mm -hmm. So make sure when you pick your dumbbells up, you bend your knees, and you pick them up the same way. So I'm going to come put them in front of you. Okay. All right. This is good, Sally. <laughs> like this. Yeah, move your knees, perfect. Right, so you turn dumbbells hand width away, so what? Mm -hmm. That made no sense. What? Turn that way, right? So you've yeah. got your toes slightly out, your knees are going to follow your toes. Mm -hmm. Dumbbells up the front, straight back, and then squat yourself down. And then back up again. <laughs> so I knew you went behind me. That's pretty spot on. Perfect. So, ladies and gents, that's what we're aiming for. Um, if you're slightly more pear shaped, you're gonna have to do a slightly higher rep range for towing, okay? So someone who's quite petite, you can do 12 to 15 reps for tone. So you're not really gonna build much size from that, just gonna give you de definition and, and a little bit of strength, alright? If you're a slightly more pear shaped, just up your rep range and go 15 to 20 reps. So that's one rep, okay? and then that's two reps, so that's what repetition is. Have a 30 second to a minute break in between, and then go again. <laughs> All right? Sumo squats. Super. Well done, Carly. Thank well done, guys. Great effort. Right, so now we've switched. Um, we're gonna go back onto uh, a lunge that we've done a few times before, but we're gonna introduce a step back lunge, which it just makes it a little bit harder, get a little bit more core activation. Obviously, we've got the weights, but if you find it a little bit too hard to start with, just do body weight. It's exactly the same. It just intensifies it a little bit more with the, with the, the weights in your hands. So, normal, I'll just stand in front, normal squat position to start with, and the same rules apply all the time with our lunges. Never step back and behind because you're going to lose all your balance. But the best way for me to show you is actually on a side view. So now I've got the boring stuff out of the way. Just step back a little bit. Right, so from a square stance, chest nice and proud, dumbbells down by the sides, trying not to lock the arms out. Take a step back, whichever leg you like, and keep the heel off the floor. Down to a right angle, step back in, and then change it round. So we're going 15, 12 to 15 reps each side. So I'm going to hand over to our glamorous assistant. Thank you. Oh, thanks. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so glamorous assistant. <laughs> there you go. Thank right, so you. set yourself up. Thank so, you. yep. Yeah. Right, away you go. So as you can see, just doing it a little bit wrong at the moment. So take a slightly further step back. A little bit further. That's it. She's not the most balanced in the world, so it's all right. So now drop down. So the main thing you're looking for is that you can actually do it to start with <laughs> and that you're not going all the way down so the knee touches down because it just switches everything off and then you shock it again. So that's pretty perfect. Main thing to remember, like we always say, try not to lean forward while the shoulder's over because it just encourages poor posture and it's not great for the legs and glutes. So on. just do one more, step back in, dumbbells down correctly. Give that a little screw all over there. But anyway, so um, that's step back lunges. Fantastic effort. Give that a whirl at home, guys. Same again. Two sets, three sets, 12 to 15 reps each side. And feel the burn in the quads. And oops, well done. Buns are still. Right, so next exercise we have for you is another form of a squat, okay? So it's a pretty standard squat, this one. So what you need to know is pick your dumbbells up, 
you don't have to use weights if you don't want to. When we do a squat, okay, we go toes just slightly wider than hips, okay? You want to point your toes out slightly, you can. Try not to point them inwards because it will give you problems with your knees, okay? So as we said with squat before, your knees are going to track along with your second and third toes. So they go in the middle of the feet, okay? So I'm going to just take a side view so you can see. What we do is just a normal squat. You want to go down slightly and then the bum will naturally go out behind, okay? When you get to the lowest point, your bum must be slightly higher than your knees. But for this one, that's a normal squat. We're doing bottom half of three, okay? So we're going down, and then we're just going to go halfway up. One, two, last one. Should have come up there, three. All right? <laughs> so, and then straight back in. And then straight back in. So that's one set, the bottom half of, sorry, one rep, the bottom half of three. So you're doing that 12 to 15 times, all right? Good luck. So good luck with that. So per, grab your stuff. And remember to push up through the heels to get those jumping. glutes working. Yeah, you can cheat. Just do half reps like that. So slightly wider than hips width. That's it. Perfect. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, go down with the knees first, oh. and then out with a the bum. Perfect. Just kind of get your posture nice and upright, back straight. Okay. That's so, better. So you've got to stay down for three. Ah, uh, yeah. okay, right, cool. So down. Oh. Up. Down. You should up, be going down. Down and then up. You guys, you might not be able to go all the way down to start with. Okay, but it's just progression. So just go where you feel comfortable. Just try and stay in that work area, the bottom half. Just make sure you keep your back nice and upright, okay? Yeah? Comfortable? Oh, yeah, really. It's not hurting your lower back oh, at all? No, <laughs> <laughs> what you will find, guys, if it is hurting your lower back when you're doing squats with the bar on your back and stuff, often you're either tracking too far forward on the knees or you're really bending over. You're going to keep the chest proud, okay? Yeah. So you don't really want to hyperextend the back. You don't want to be doing this. So you want to keep down with the knees first and then bum out, okay? It's nice and parallel. Feeling comfortable? Yeah. And stop. Bars down then, or weights down. Good. And just one thing I will chuck in there because it's something I get shouted at all the time in body pump. A lot of people talk about the bars. It is a naturally uncomfortable place to have a bar anyway. Obviously we use dumbbells, but if you are going to squat like that, it's essentially the same, but just a little bit more of a progression. The main thing you'll notice, the pressure normally comes from the bar towards the end of the set because you, you will find that when you start to struggle, you grip and pull. So just remember when you get towards the end of the set, just slightly lift up a little bit more. Try not to pull the bar down because that's when you end up almost doubling the weight because you're yanking the bar down across because you start to struggle on the way down. So just reverse it. Sounds really random but it's, it works a lot because I used to do it when I first started teaching pump. So then towards the chat I was going, ow! So anyway, yeah. bend the bar. Yeah, try to bend the bar. Anyway, next exercise. By now your buttons should be burning. Should Hopefully be. your hamstrings as well and your quads. So you're going to have a Steel. Done, anyway. Cool, right, so the last actual exercise we've got for you, just to really finish the glutes off, finish the quads off, and just give you a nice tone, the lower torso. Beach is legs. Beach legs. I wish I had them. I've got women's beach legs, but not men's. So right, but chicken legs. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, um, we're going to do a step back lunge with a, a knee raise. It's a brilliant, brilliant exercise. I use it um, in the choreography for body pump at the moment. Les Mills, they're absolutely phenomenal. So we're going to adopt that because it's, it's absolutely brilliant exercise and it really hurts. So uh, we're it's up nice. in the ante because uh, Kylie's not the most balanced and this requires a lot of balance. So um, just remember to activate the core because by basically sucking the belly button in, keeping your back nice and straight because this is really tough. Right, so um, I'll show you from the side. Main things, like I said before, just remember to activate the core, suck the belly button in, chest nice and proud and back nice and straight. So you're going to step back and do a normal lunge but from that position, instead of stepping in square, you're going to swing the leg straight through and lift up to a right angle. And alternatively, if you want to, the better you get at it, you can lift up onto the toe, get a little bit of activation from the calf, which is basically the, the bottom of the back of the leg. Lift up, and if you find it really hard, use the arms, like we do in, we do in body pump, you swing the arms through to help with the momentum to lift you up. So that is a raise. There you go. This is going to be classic. <laughs> if it doesn't go in the video, it's going to make a great blooper anyhow. It looks so dainty. So the main thing that I see people do wrong in body pump with this one is that they've stepped so far back because you've swung the leg and you've got no idea where it's going. So remember not to step right back because then you end up hyperextending the back and trying to follow this. So Just keep it all right. So swap legs. Good. So this is really good for the legs and it's also really good for your core. So, wow. There isn't even no wind in here. Right, so what I, just, what I will just say, we've had a lot of tweets about ask ladies asking us for this workout, for making buns of steer and all that. Um, in particular, a lady, if you want a bit of nutrition advice, guys, on Twitter, follow Nick's Nutrition. Um, yes. She gives a lot of good information on nutrition and stuff like that, and she did actually ask us if we could do something 
for um, for getting tight tush and yeah. legs and stuff like that. So, so here Nick. you are. This is for you as well. <laughs> and yeah, if you're not already following her, at Nick's Nutrition on Twitter, she is a diamond and she's got a great blog post as well. And she's got some cracking recipes for you to try. Yeah. So um, yeah, that's the main exercise. The only one thing I did want to show you, because obviously we haven't got the weights to actually do it, but it's an exercise that I use quite a lot, which is really good. And it's called a glute, well, a kneeling squat basically. So I'll just quickly show it at the end. It's an alternative you can actually do at the gym. With, with all of these exercises we've done, whenever you're squatting a bar or with dumbbells and things, it is really important, like Leon said earlier, just remember to brace the abs. Keep, because that is going to save you so many lower back problems. By keeping your abs braced, it will protect your lower back. Okay? So especially, I didn't say it when I was doing the squats and I needed to. To keep your abs braced, and it will stop your lower back hurting so much. All right? Thank you, Doctor. No worries. <laughs> Chapman. Anyway, so just quickly, you've got your feet under the hips. And it's basically just, you want to have your shoulders level with your knees at the top. So this is your start position. And once you've got your bar behind, just chest proud, you drop down. It looks really random, but you lift back up square and you'll feel naturally your glutes will pinch. So once, so I'll say we can't really do it with body weight because you're not really getting much of a pinch unless you go <clears throat> and tense your, your, your buns. So just remember with a bar, lift it right down through the heels and then just nip up, tip the hips forwards and you'll really get a nice work for the glutes. So, really basic little exercise that you can chuck in as well. Barbell, 12 to 15 reps should be tough, two to three sets at the end of the workout to yeah. uh, chisel those glutes. And yeah, thanks a lot to Carly, Thank the you. other half, for being involved and being really unstable as always. So um, yeah, we've just got our model in, so uh, let us know what you think. Obviously not the missus, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> back, back I was up. thinking then, back no, up. Why are you asking <laughs> and, uh, Yeah, thanks for watching as always, guys. And if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe. And um, yeah, you're great. Cheers, guys. Thank you.